So I figured I would do a progress update on where I'm at. Um, I did a show back at the beginning of August, and I'm in the depths of my off-season balk. I hate that term, balk. But um, my hypertrophy phase, we'll just call it that, right now. Try, trying to get a little bit bigger, add some size, do it smartly. But I figured I'd give everybody an update. I'll be as transparent as I possibly can about everything. Um, I'm not saying I'm the be all end all, but I give you an idea of I'm a master's competitor in bodybuilding. I'm nothing special. Um, so, uh, just give you an idea of what, what, what I'm doing and what I look like right now. So before we get started, if you like my video, hit that like button. Um, also I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I get a lot of people watching, um, not that many people subscribing, um, it helps the algorithm if you subscribe. YouTube likes to show my videos more if you subscribe. They don't if you don't subscribe. So anyway, I would appreciate if you do that. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer every single one I can. Um, also, uh, if you have suggestions for other videos you'd like me to make, feel free to make them. Um, I'm, I'm open to whatever. I, you know, I'm going to run out of ideas here soon. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's dig into this. All right, so um, right now, uh, my current vitals in health. Uh, my fasted weight this morning was 265. It was up a couple pounds from yesterday. I had a kind of a salty cheat meal last night. I went to Silver Diner. Nothing crazy. I just... Eat some turkey and potatoes, nothing insane. Um, daytime walking around weight after I'm hydrated is around 270 right now. Um, my resting pulse, according to my Apple Watch last night, was 58. Um, I take my resting pulse from the, from the night. My blood pressure today, I got a picture of it down here just in case you don't believe me, um, is 116 over 71 today. Full disclosure, I take blood pressure medicine to get it down in that range. Otherwise, it would be way higher than that. Uh, my fasted glucose today was 98. I've been struggling with glucose control. I don't know why. I don't know. I mean, I, th I'm, I think I'm pre-diabetic or maybe even partially diabetic at this point. But, um, uh, so, but even with insulin, uh, my fasted glucose has been hard to keep under control. But it was okay today. Um, O2, I, I checked my O2 because I had COVID earlier in the year and I'm still dealing with bullshit side effects from COVID, you know, numbness in my fingers and my toes and I get short of breath sometimes. Um, you know, my, I can't smell, I can't taste. So COVID definitely fucked me up. So I'm not going to make any political statements here, but get the vaccine. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want it. it I, I thought I was gonna fucking die when I had it. Um, I, I missed an entire month of the of the gym. Um, I wish I had had the vaccine and had avoided all that. Um, my hematocrit. I got a meter at home that I can test my hematocrit with. Uh, it's forty nine. I never. I'm taking equipoise right now, but well, I know a lot of people struggle with hematocrit. I mine never seems to get too out of whack sometimes it'll get a little high but it usually it's just hydration issues I, i'm dehydrated if i if i start drinking water it goes back down sleep i've been sleeping great now i was not in contest prep i was only getting about four or five hours of sleep in contest prep i'm sleeping like a baby right now eight eight and a half hours of sleep every night according to my apple watch i do think i have some sleep apnea um, although it seems to have settled down, I have a ton of sinuses issues. I got a deviated septum that I need to get fixed at some point. I just keep fucking putting off. Um, my appetite has been going. <laughs> it's dropped. I, I like I'm struggling to eat right now. I don't even I'm not even craving cookies. You know, <laughs> you know, it's bad when I don't want to eat cookies. Um, how I'm feeling overall, I'm feeling a tad lethargic. My ankles have been swollen up now and then, although I sit on my ass all day long for work, so I, I probably need to get up and try to move a little bit more during the day, maybe walk on my treadmill just for like five, ten minutes between meals. Um, I do IT, so I sit on my ass all day long. Uh, um, uh, my I pop my shoulder. I have, a, I have a shoulder that I have a partially torn labor men from jujitsu many years ago 
Also, I've never gotten that fixed. Uh, and I was doing pull-ups a couple weeks ago, and my shoulder popped out of socket a little bit, and it's been really, really sore since I've been kind of working around it with my training. I've had to do light weight on high reps on shoulders, but I don't really lift that heavy anymore anyway. Um, anyway, so that's where I'm at health-wise. Checking picks, here's where I'm at today. I am in full-blown bear mode at this point. Um, um, I am up, this is crazy, I am up 90 pounds almost from my contest weight of just from just in August. So let's see here, August, September, October, November. So I gained 90 pounds in four, <laughs> in four months. I don't know if I should be proud of that or not. I can still kind of see my abs. Um, this right here is about as fat as I like to get. Um, I don't know where my body fat's at. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, I can still see the outline of my abs. So that's, that's probably my limit of where I let myself go. I don't like to get much bigger than that. And then it gets, just gets hard to get the weight back off. But anyway, that, that's, that's where I'm holding tight for now. Um, I listened to my coach. My coach pushed us out calories up a little bit more this week. We'll see how it goes and make adjust adjustments next week. Um, current super supplement protocol, um, 750 milligrams of test a week, 600 milligrams of EQ a week. I added 150 milligrams of NPP nandrolone for you lay persons, um, per week this past week. Uh, I'm not doing it for any sort of, uh, size benefit. I just, at my shoulder and my joints are just kind of hurting. Um, I added it in there to kind of ho hopefully lube things up. Um, I take, I'm taking 6.25 milligrams of XMS stain every other day. I do my shots every other day. Very, you know, it's a very, very low dose. Uh, I may even pull that off completely and see if I can get away with it. I try not, try to use as little aromatase inhibitors as possible. I, they're, they're not that great for you. Uh, but my estrogen gets really, really, really high sometimes. With my last blood work, it was like 130. Um, and my nipples were getting a little bit sore. But um, even even though I've had gyno surgery, isn't that crazy? Um, so don't let the people tell you that gyno surgery gets rid of it permanently. I've had it done twice, and I still occasionally have issues. Uh, maybe my surgeon sucks. I don't know, but I've had people tell me it's impossible. Well, I can tell you it's not fucking impossible. Um, six units of GH um, every day. I had pushed it up to eight for a while, but uh, that uh, I think that may have been why my fasted glucose was getting high. So I pulled it back down to see if that helped. Seems to have helped with my uh, fasted glucose. My fasted glucose has slowly come back down. But eight seems to be the area for me where I start getting running into issues with my blood sugar. Um, six seems to be the sweet spot for me. So six doesn't seem to cause problems. It doesn't make my hands hurt a little bit at night, but um, that's about it. A uh, thousand mil milligrams of metformin per day for uh, insulin sensitivity. Um, basically, that's the counteractive GH. 1500 milligrams of berberine today. It's not really a super supplement, but. Um, I use it for, for glucose sensitivity control as well. I take a half an X-Forge pill um, every day for blood pressure. Um, that has the ARB in it and another, I forget the other, blood pressure medicine. But it's two blood pressure medicines. I don't take the one that has the diuretic in it. Um, I am taking 20 units of Humo, or Lantus, sorry, basal long-lasting insulin every night before bed. Um, so just to kind of give my pancreas a rest, I, I'm eating a ton of carbs. I don't really do it for the muscle building benefit. I don't, you know, it's, that's not why I'm taking it. I'm just, I'm pounding a lot of carbs. I'm taking growth hormone. I'm trying to save my pancreas. <laughs> so, the, you know, there's, you know, taking Lantus or basal insulin proactively has been shown to help um, prevent beta cell burnout in your pancreas. So um, I'm doing it for that reason. I do take Humalog on my high days, uh, my high carb days. Um, I don't really have a prescribed dose I take. I let my blood sugar dictate how much Humalog I take. 
Um, I try to make sure that between by the next meal, I want to keep my blood sugar under 100. And if it's un, not over 100, I'll adjust the the hemolog dose up and down based on where my blood sugar is at. I don't want to get into detail on it right now. At some point, I'll do another video about it. Um, my current diet, I'm doing um, two high days per week with a cheat meal on those high days. Um, I'll occasionally have a dirty cheat meal, but usually I try to keep my cheat meals fairly clean. I mean, my go-to is usually Mediterranean food, kebabs and rice. I like, you know, I like to go get a steak and some potatoes, usually a baked potato or sometimes a mashed potatoes. Um, I mean, that's generally what I have on my cheat days. Occasionally the silver diner. My daughter likes the silver diner. I'll go there. I, I'll get their their turkey dinner there, which is essentially a Thanksgiving dinner. It's turkey, mashed potatoes, um, some vegetables. It's pretty, pretty straightforward, but those are generally my cheat meals. Occasionally I'll get Chipotle. If I do get Chipotle, I'll just skip the, the cheese and the sour cream, keep it as reasonably low fat. Uh, but that's kind of what my cheat meals look like. Uh, so on the high days, two of them per week, my calories right now, these are direct calories, uh, 4560, um, I'm doing 890 grams of carbs on those days, 250 grams of protein. Uh, on my uh, training, uh, any day, any day, it's not a high day that I am training, um, uh, my medium days, um, right now I'm doing yeah, like 3700, 3800 calories. Uh, off the top of my head, 550 grams, 5 grams of carbs, 330 um, grams of protein, um, and 28 grams of fat. Now, that is added fat. Uh, the way my my coach is Justin Harris from Troponin Nutrition. Uh, he does not count the fat that's in the meats. I usually try to eat lean meats anyway. I don't eat any fatty cuts of meat. If I eat red meat, it's 96% lean ground beef. Um, I don't do anything that's fatty. Uh, you mostly chicken, ground beef, cod. That's pretty much all I eat. Um, 96% ground beef and chicken breast. I want to be specific about that. I had some dude I was talking to and he was telling me he was eating chicken thighs. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, <laughs> no to the chicken thighs. I mean, I know they taste great. Um, my low day, which is one non-training day per week. Um, uh, this is kind of maintenance calories for me. It's about 2,900 or so. Um, I do 300 grams of carbs, 300 grams of protein, 60 grams of fat. That's added fat once again. Um, on my high days, um, with Justin, up to half of my carbs can come from sugar. Um, it's because it's like... <laughs> It's almost it's impossible to eat 100, 890 grams of carbs from from rice. I, there's no way I could fucking get that down. So usually, like for my sugar, I'll do some sugary cereals. Uh, usually, cinnamon checks is one of my go-to's. Uh, I'll do fruit juices too. I'll get the uh, I'll get the simply orange orange juice or simply uh, fruit juice. I'll do those sometimes. Bananas. Um, Apple pie filling. I like apple pie filling. I'll put it on my rice. I know that's gross. My kids get grossed out when I do it, but it works. I like it. It's like a fucking dessert. It's dessert rice. Um, okay, so my current training, I get a lot of people ask me about my training. I have another video up about my high volume training um, that goes into more detail about it if you want to look at it. Uh, but my current split is push, legs, pull, push, legs, pull, off. So I'm training six days a week, one day a week off from the gym. Uh, my rep scheme, not I, I will put a, put a note in here, nothing to failure. I am, I am following a renaissance periodization program if you want to know what the program is. So it's a high volume, periodized, um, training program, but right now in the block I'm in right now, we're doing eight to 10 reps on compound movements, 12 to 15 on isolation movements. Um, the volume progresses over a four to six week block. Um, you know, towards the end of the block, we'll be, we'll be at about 25 sets per body part per week. Um, 
Cardio, I'm doing 12 minutes of hit cardio four times a week. I use the elliptical for my hit, so I'll go I'll go 40 seconds at a regular pace and 20 seconds at a sprint um, for 12 minutes. Uh, this is just not really, it's not for fat burning. It's just to keep my heart healthy. Um, you give my heart a jolt, you know, maintain cardiovascular health. Um, I, I can't tell, I, if you'll notice, I take blood pressure medicine. I also am taking cholesterol medicine. Um, that is the one thing that most bodybuilders don't pay attention to. They need to watch their cardiovascular health. I, you know, I, any of us could have a cardio, I mean, I could have one today. Um, you just don't know, but I try to do things to reduce those risks. Um, you know, I talked to a guy the other day who was telling me his blood pressure, young guy too. And it was like 180 over 100. And I'm like, dude, you got to get that shit under control. You're going to have a fucking heart attack when you're... <laughs> By the time you're 40, that's not good. Um, so you got to pay attention to your blood pressure. And really, I really feel like a, every bodybuilder should be on some form of blood pressure medicine. It's cheap. Doctors will prescribe it to you. Uh, um, there's just no reason for you not to be on it um, and to help mitigate some of the risk with the with the PEDs. Um, anyway... Uh, my plans, I've got about four to six weeks left on this blast, so it'll be 12 to 14 weeks total. I don't go, like, a, I, like I have a loose idea of what I want to do. Like I'm trying to fit I'm trying to fit three training blocks into this one, if I could, two to three. Um, but, you know, if I can, I can't. You know, I'm feeling pretty beat up right now. Um, I'm going to be starting contest prep in late February. Um, so, you know, I want to take a break from the PEDs for a while and just cruise on, uh, TRT for probably six to eight weeks just to get myself healthy before I do my contest prep. So that's coming up pretty soon. So I really only have about four, four to six weeks left of this blast, but I go by how I feel, you know, if I'm feeling like the wheels are falling off, I'll, I'll pull back down to TRT and just do that for a while. I, I let my body dictate. I don't try, I think too many people try to just keep plowing through and that's a bad idea. Um, before I start contest prep, I will go get a physical done. I, I'm due for a colonoscopy. I need to get that done too. Probably get a cardiac CT scan done just to check that, get my bloods done my last cardiac ct scan which was two years ago i know i skipped this year i need to do it it was right before the pandemic i had zero plaque but you know that can change overnight um so i need to check on that and make uh, see where i'm at but um anyway so you know before i start contest prep i want to make sure i'm healthy and if everything checks out then contest prep starts late february early march and uh we'll we'll evaluate things then and see where i'm at um, I'm aiming for a show in June, um, trying to win the Masters Division. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I think I'm going to do the DC program, um, but we'll see. It, we'll see. Everything is subject to my health. The health comes first. Health and family comes first. But um, if everything lays out the way I think it will, then uh, show in June. Um, and hopefully this year I'll bring home some hardware. Last year I over-dieted. I... I push too hard and I just got stringy and flat at the end but lesson learned I will do a better job this year not push so hard with getting you know I was trying to just get extra little bit of fat off at the and I ended up just sacrificing size because of it um, but it's better to push too hard than not hard enough there were a lot of dudes that just weren't in fucking shape I'd rather be a little little flat and a little stringy um, and be in shape than be the dude that that Looks like he was eating fucking McDonald's all the way up to the show. Um, anyway, that's all I got for you today. Once again, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Feel free to ask comments in the in the comment section. If you want to get a hold of me um, or keep up with what's going on with me personally, you can follow me on Instagram at Paul K. Barnett. Have a great day.